Steph, uh, Gingrich, is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts, lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Yeah, totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Being Gabe? Right. <sighs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... You know, do something cool. Something I can really get into. Like DJing for a cute little station. Be me again. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Okay, the manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. Great, here's the list. Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. What are you supposed to be? Are you the Haven High mascot? Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. Hard to hold a pickaxe without thumbs? So wait, you're a bird and a miner? Is it hard working underground when you were born to fly? I bet you wish you listened to your mother and became a bird accountant. Sorry. Am I bumming you out? All right, man. Mea culpa. You know I'm here for you if you need to talk, right? Are you the Haven High mascot? One of these buttons is the mic switch. Gotta just dive in and say something on air. Need to turn this on first. What's up, Kind Haven listeners? Steph here.
your new DJ at KRCT, live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and uh, maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you, so uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music, so next up, check out the playlist. Something tells me you and I are going to be seeing a lot of each other. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. It'll do, I guess. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. It's my turn now. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too? Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. I would ask where these came from, but I don't look a gif stegosaurus in the mouth. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse, great song. That new DJ really has the stuff. officially listen to sweet tunes for a living. DJ. Okay, they want me to riff on these bullet points, so I should probably study them a little first.
I was born to hog this mic. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for its bearded proprietor. Prefer your dinner served by a man from the 1800s? Then look no further. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Top notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction, bar none. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. fill out my dating app profile. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. You're kidding.
probably work for me to do in the store as well. I think there was a note for me on the front counter. The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. Eleanor knows I kill plants. She willingly sent these to their death. I've had maybe three conversations with Eleanor, and she's already giving me flowers. I can see why Gabe loves her. That's probably gonna be my dinner. Gabe, your girlfriend is too good for you, man. One day, if you're brave, unselfish, and true, you can be a real guitar. Next up, put your paws together for Nat King Collie. We really need to get some customers in here. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche ice cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is gonna blow your freaking mind. Even their classics are a step above the rest. Prepare to change the way you think about vanilla. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Sonny and Angela Anderson, the best neighbors a hungry DJ could ask for. I feel like I'd get along with this woman.
So, if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. And, yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. If any of these ask me to dance like no one's watching, One of these might work. This better live up to the mystery. Cool. Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. My first call. Better go answer it. Hello? You're on KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Hmm, depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. Could I just give you my order, and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. All right, uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Hmm. Interesting choices. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these for? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay, look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah, you lost me there. <sighs> All right, dude, listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their super slick job portal. Seriously, I'm not even gonna tell you how it works. It's that easy to use. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, 
Not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. I'm going to be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT. So get your ears ready for some fresh tunes and keep it here. cuisine and you learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days mastering your email chapter one turning your computer on if we don't have new releases what do we have Throwback time. There's gotta be some 90s child out there looking for a nostalgia fix. Next up, put your paws together for Nat King Collie. We really need to get some customers in here. contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. All my old GM stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. Oh my God, this takes me back. So, need a new Elamon campaign. My old notebook had some ideas in it that might work. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort, but I'm not doing that right now. This year's Spring Festival is right around the corner. 
So, uh, see Eleanor at the flower shop for volunteer opportunities. Yeah, this place definitely needs an update. Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred's snow removal. What the hell? When's the last time someone even used this? music too? This store can't make up its mind. Not Kasha's favorite musical, I take it. Oof. We need to get this sucker filled up. I had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how it sounds now. I could get... This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. Okay, so what instrument should I play this thing on? If you need me, honey, I'll be here yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a guitar riff. Even though right now you think that guy is on the moon. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh. It just needs some screws. Is there an animal in there? Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. Analysis of the sonata form and its relation to musical structure and choice? <laughs> Whoa, who's the heavyweight thumbing through these bad boys? Oh, our raccoon friend, I assume. Clearly not toilet trained. Well, I'm not cleaning it up.
I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist? Yeesh. Looks like I got here just in time. I may have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is maybe no one is listening anyway. I was born to hog this mic. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Take that, Auto DJ. Hard to hold a pickaxe without thumbs? Thanks for supporting KRCT. If you have any regrets, it is now too late. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. I would ask where these came from, but I don't look a gif stegosaurus in the mouth. We're coming into allergy season, kind Haven listeners. 
don't really have anything else to say about that. Great song. That new DJ really has the stuff. I don't even want to think about what that animal's done in there. It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, I am. Eventually, I'll need to get back in the booth. The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. I need to know who's mass producing these mountain paintings for every store in Haven. Not Kasha's favorite musical, I take it.
Maybe I'll empty some tomorrow. Yikes. Some drummers dream of sitting in with the Stones or the Who. I know who I'd rather play with. Some drummers dream of sitting in with the Stones or the Who. I know who I'd rather play with. As a former member of Drugstore Makeup, I'm not in a position to knock anyone's band name. Going with the mysterious metropolis of New Eden. Now all I need is 5 million NPCs. KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Sorry, no. <laughs> it was your music. You were apparently shopping for breakup records. No, I was shopping for acoustic guitar records because I'm learning the guitar. But you knew what I was really feeling, hence psychic. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU, but then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay, just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? All right, what am I going to tell this girl? Oof, a six is not great news. So, what's my prediction? What city are we in? I don't know. Okay, I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay, the good news is that you and Tara will definitely keep up your relationship. It's just that, instead of best friends, you become mortal enemies. What? Why? Well, the call came in. A year into college, you both discover a gift for the art of lyrical expression known as poetry. I love poetry. But it's not all roses and violets. The world of poetry journals is small and brutally competitive. Soon, the two of you are passively aggressively sniping at one another, then aggressively aggressively. 
instead of becoming the next Emily Dickinson, you end up just being a dick. Hate is a feathered thing. All right, that's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It was rough, but I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Thanks, Steph. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. <laughs>